Thunderbird Park sits right next to the Royal BC Museum. And like the museum, it's also full of priceless pieces of Indigenous art. Totem poles representing several coastal nations fill the park. And while they've been on display for nearly three quarters of a century, one museum curator believes they can be an important part of reconciliation. She says it all comes down to the details. We are here today at the site of Thunderbird Park on the Royal BC Museum grounds in Victoria, BC. And maybe you've driven by and seen the totem poles and the uh, house that we call Wat Waditla. It's a traditional big house uh, created by Manga Martin. And this is uh, one of the most interesting, I think, provincial heritage sites in BC. And if you really look at the, the poles closely, you'll see entirely different ways of carvings, whether the pole is a mortuary pole or a heraldic pole to represent several tribal groups within a larger nation. Totem poles are made out of western red cedar. And you don't find western red cedar further into the province going east. So one thing you can learn right off the top is that many of these poles come from the coast and from coastal nations. So one of the things you'll obviously see when you're driving by this particular corner is a traditional big house. Mungo Martin built this house. It was part of his family heritage. And so he named the house Watwaditla. And uh, so this is uh, an active space. Our singers learn how to sing here. We've done language lessons in the house during the summertime. I've been in and around Thunderbird Park probably since I was three-ish and um, my dad used to carve here. I've, I've danced inside and spent a lot of time with family. So it's always been a very active cultural space and we want to keep it that way for generations to come. I noticed a couple times when I just happened to be walking through, people were on the sidewalk going, I don't think we're allowed to step there. Yes, you are, please do, please come up close. But we really want people to take the opportunity to become educated about these things it's a huge part of reconciliation, just acknowledging the fact that BC isn't one First Nations territory. The actual historic cultural groups, there are 35, at least 35. So this is just a really small example of those 35 cultures. So it gives people of the province an opportunity without actually traveling the province to get somewhat of an insight into the First Nations across the province. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.